this is something I figured I'd give a chance. These are ration books from um, Russia back during communism, so the USSR. And these are actually through the first, no, the second, in 1976. So the ration books, it looks like probably on their own, something they would do, I guess. Because it just says 1976 that I can make out in English. In 1958, 76, that's all I can really make out because I don't speak Russian or read Russian. I speak a little, I know how to say yes and no, and that's about it. So these are the ration stamps. I don't know what they stand for. Each one probably meant something different, just like with us. Like, um, probably currency wise because this is 20 kopecks 5 kopecks maybe 1 1980 1984 1983 there's 1982 with a question mark next to it but these are the ones you see in here and they have stamps that they stamp themselves It's probably for gas and things like that. Because usually ration books are for gas, different foods like corn, wheat. Um, I just know from what my grand great my grandmother and her family had before she married my grandfather. She had stuff from World War II where it was the books were corn, wheat, oil, gasoline. Um, there was one in there for I think. Well, I don't think it was milk or butter. But there was like um, certain things, tires I think he had a special one for. Now there are, um, I have six different books. So these are ones I got off a place on Etsy. These came straight from Odessa, Ukraine, which I've never even knew that was a city. So, uh, yes, these are Russian rubles. PYB is Russia is ruble, or is RUB in their, RUB in their language. K-O-N is um, their secondary currency. See, this is somebody else's book. I'm not going to show the name in here, but they also had... You got a name, you got your address. Um, you're supposed to have a photograph right there. Cover that up. But that's not in this one. Ours didn't, theirs probably did. This is probably your papers. How you, you ever, have you ever seen it like at Hogan's Heroes say, like, your papers, and this is the paper, so they asked for it, probably, because this is what it looks like to me, because these are all nine, looks like nine, um, rubles, these pages, 90 courses, which is their secondary, like, um, thing, more of the same, you fill out the rest of this, there's a note in here, Paper is faded. This means that you speak Russian, you can tell me what these mean. <laughs> but that's pretty neat that that's in there. I don't speak enough Russian to read this. I've never really learned. I tried to learn Russian. It's too difficult for me. So these are all one, one ruble. Now. Um, there is other ones in here. Half a ruble, which is con. Let's scale in. This is so old, they're sticking together. So, um... Yeah, I don't have a translator on my phone anymore. It's too much room to get rid of it. This one's got a paper clip inside it. This is from 1960 all the way through to 1980. This might be the same guy's books. I guess in communism, you had to, like, they rationed everything. So everybody got a, I mean, you see the difference in stamps, like that's the one on this book for one, one ruble. Other ones are different, so you can just tell, but these are pretty neat. Um, I am a huge collector of paper money from all the world. I thought this was a really cool thing. Forgot that I can't read Russian, but check it out. You never know. Maybe you can. If you can decipher these books, let me know. Uh, message me on um, Twitter at Rachel Roth 72 and I said Rachel Roth, sorry, Rachel Curry 24. That's just me on that, and I'll, maybe we can talk about deciphering these. 
and I have some cool things for you in two weeks. Uh, next week, I am getting a special thing done, so.